Ryan, and welcome, welcome to You Jokes. That was just a little, little sneak peek of our guest today that I was going to show you. Uh, I'm Jonathan Mangum. This is You Jokes. This is our ninth. Ninth? Ninth That was episode. just a little, little sneak peek oh, of our guest today. I, I hear some feedback. Uh, I'm Jonathan Mangum. This there is, is a this feedback is happening ninth, that has never happened ninth, before. Little, little so I'm going to figure out how to stop it. Oh, I, I know how to stop feedback. it. Uh, yes. I'm Jonathan Mangum. See, just like that. I fix a technical difficulty all by myself. Thank you. I get a pause for that. <laughs> Let's start over. Hi, I'm Jonathan Mangum. Welcome to You Jokes. Uh, this is our ninth episode, as I was saying our ninth perfect episode. Uh, this is a great show. We've had people come back, people play with us. Uh, if you're new, uh, you're in for a fun treat. This is a comedy competition where we have two very funny people competing for the best joke based on a suggestion I give them. And what makes this show fun for you at home is that you can compete too, right? In the comments, right? In the Facebook or in the YouTube comments, just type in your joke. You don't have to, you can just, you know, watch and enjoy. But if you have a good one, type it in. Our producer, Josh, will do his best to find a good one, pop it in, and then I will decide, I will be the judge who had the best joke because I literally have nothing else to do. Uh, that's how the show works. I see some people are joining us. Uh, Larry Wallach, hey. Uh, I see uh, Melissa Garland Wickard. I see JJ James, uh, Marlene Ron. Chad Shapiro, Captain Sarah, Brandy Marie. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, Jamie. Jamie's on YouTube. Looks like might be the only one. Uh, Matt Smith. Uh, welcome to the show. Good luck to you all, because now you're going to need luck to beat these two funny dudes. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, two hilarious people, Chris Tallman and Jim O'Hare. Hey, How you doing, guys. Oh. Hello, Jonathan. Hey, Chris, Jim. So great Jonathan. to see you. What's that? I said it's so great to see you guys, man. Oh, you too. Uh, for those who don't know, Jonathan and I did the first time I ever did a series. We did a yeah. show called Strip Mall. Oh, was... fun. And Jim and I were briefly married for three months. Oh, I did not know that. That is our history. Wait. <laughs> well, how are we married? In Columbia, you don't remember. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, I forgot. We get to be funny on this. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> both you guys are, are awesome. I, I, Chris, I've done so much improv with uh, over the years, and uh, I mean, I know you've been on a bunch of TV shows, Reno Nine One One, and then, but lately, you were on the Thundermans, the the Nickelodeon show, was such an awesome show. Thank you. Jim was a guest star on our show. I did I not was. know that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, you don't. Know. Remember Farmer Ted or Farmer Brown? Farmer something, yeah. Farmer. Farmer, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jonathan, you must go back. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so Jim, you and I, we started on a show called Strip Mall way yes. back in the year 2000 or something. Starring Julie Brown yeah. and I played her husband. And you played the love interest of an older woman, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh, man, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a crazy show, but a lot of fun. You thought, yeah, it was awesome. But then now you went on and Parks and Rec. My God, you're it's like one of the most classic comedies of all time. What show is that? Parks and Rec. <laughs> Parks. Oh, Jim, you'd love it. Yeah. Gonna, is yeah. it on Netflix? Can I can I binge it or I think it's on like one of the voodoo backslash w dot forward slashes. I'll, so. I'll find it. Yeah. That's I mean it sounds if you guys liked it, I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> yeah, oh, you did yeah. it. Oh, Jim, I, I think you're, it's, it's, I think it's going to be right up your alley. <laughs> I like yeah, how you don't remember it. you don't remember your biggest show, and you don't remember being married in Colombia. But I hopefully, I, you'll I remember don't. how to be funny. And if everything goes well, I won't remember whatever we're doing here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I think it's time to uh, play our first game tonight. So our first game is a little game that we call Name the Movie. Name the movie. Uh, how this works is I'm going to show you a picture and you tell me what movie that you think it is from. And here it is. Bam. Okay, wow. The beach, a place we would all like to be and yet cannot go <laughs> right, right now. Man, I miss the, miss the beach, especially when it gets warm. But we have to do our parts and stay in. So what movie do you think this is from? Uh, if you're watching on the Facebook or the YouTube, type it in now. What movie... Is this what, what's it called? What movie is this called? Uh, why don't we start off with you, Chris? What movie is this? Uh, well, I mean, guys, spoiler 
Yeah. This is the end of, not a lot of people know this, right before Planet of the Apes, there was another one. Oh. And at the end, Charlton Heston was like, ah, oh, you did it. You mooed it up. Ah. Planet of the Cow. I love it. I love that it was a prequel to the to the Planet of the Apes movie. Yeah. Damn, it wasn't a lot of cool suits. A lot of guys in cow suits. <laughs> Jim, what is this movie? Name this movie. Well, like Chris, I also went back a ways. Uh, <laughs> there used to be these teenage romp movies with yeah. Gidget and those kind of people. So to me, this one screams Beach Blanket Cow Pie. Ooh. <laughs> Beach Blanket Cow Pie. Yeah. I love it. It's disgusting and yet yeah. somehow relaxing. Uh, those are good answers. Uh, we're going to go to our audience now. Josh is looking through to see if he can find a winner. Chad Shapiro. It's called Milking the Sun. Milking Ooh. the Sun. Oh, oh, it's so. It feels like a chick flick, like the sequel to Beaches. Beaches I feel like they would too. curdle the milk. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Very, very warm. Curdle the milk. I love it. Uh, all right. It's time to move on to our next game. And our next game is one that we call, What is she teaching us? What oh. is she teaching us? I'm going to show you a picture of a lady. And you tell us what she's teaching us. And here we go. Okay. All right. She has a, <laughs> she, she has a friend, I guess. Um, something is being taught. What is she teaching us? Go ahead and type in your answer on the Facebook or in the YouTube, what she's teaching us. It seems like a valuable lesson, a life lesson, I would say. Uh, something that you're probably never going to forget. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with you, Jim. What is she teaching us? Uh, well, I'm kind of vacillating between one brilliant answer to the other. You know, <laughs> it's all gold. Just you can copy. put two in. I'll let Just you put two yeah. jokes in. Yeah. Well, one for sure would be she's saying to her, this is how the guys do it. <laughs> you know, do, do what you know with I like it. And just something about their bucket list. Fill in their bucket list. Something sweet. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, sure. yeah. I like it. You too. You, boy, you, that's the first time anyone has played that gave us two jokes. Well, oh, you're, that's you're you dealing with comic genius, Jonathan, and I think you know that. So, <laughs> that's right. setting the bar very high, Jim. <clears throat> Chris, the bar has been set. What is she teaching us? She is teaching us, Jonathan, in this age of social distancing, a lot of grown-ups, these obviously two ladies are of a, a, a mature age, they are running out of alcohol, so she is to, uh, teaching us how to make some homemade cat wine. She's going <laughs> to water in there. She's going to oh have grapes, so she's going to stomp them cats. <laughs> so, so the hose goes off screen to like a what? She's putting in some water just to fill out the, the, the oh. buckets of cats. Those are buckets of cats. She's going to stomp oh, on them. Wow. Oh, so she'll stomp them. I like it. It makes some homemade cat. cat wine. Yeah. Homemade yeah. cat wine. I like it. Don't try let that me, at home. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me go longer. It's okay. cat wine. <laughs> cat wine. Now you, now you nailed it. Now we're there. I think, I think that the cat wine, Chris, now I think the cat wine needs to have a jingle. <laughs> uh, if you're running out of brine, stomp your own and make. Cat wine. Hi. That knocked it up. Hello. That clap was real loud. That clap was real loud. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the audience. Uh, what is she teaching us? The audience is going to show us. Josh is looking through. It looks like <laughs> <laughs> Nick Masseri. That's Cat a great American one. Etiquette. Cat That's American great. Etiquette. Uh, those were all good. Those were all good. But I think I have to give that one. For the double answer to Jim O'Hare wins that round. Hey, wow. Wait, who won the first one? Oh, I, 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 did I not announce a winner? I don't think you did. You all won the first one. Yay! Won the first one. Hey, America. America really won that first Everyone one. Everyone wins a trophy. That still happens, right? Uh, we're going to move on to our next game. This one's called Finish the Lyric. Finish the Lyric. I'm going to show you the beginning of a popular lyric from a song, and you have to finish it. And the song is once, twice, three times, and fill in the blank. It comes from once, twice, three times a lady, the Commodores, um, which was sung by, uh, why am I spacing on his name? Lionel. Lionel, Lionel yes. Lionel Richie. Uh, but I want to know 
what you think the lyrics should be. Once, twice, three times. What do you think it should be? Type your answer in now. I'm going to start off with Chris Tallman. Once, twice, three times. Once, twice, three times. How many times did I wash my hands today? Hey, hey yes. <laughs> Cultural, uh, topical, and funny. Jonathan, uh, finger on the pulse. Yeah. On the pulse. <laughs> on the pulse. Yeah. We don't want to know where your hands have been, Chris. Let's let's keep them down. Okay. Oh wow! You guys, is it just me, or is the chest hair really sexy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm really giving something else to this game today. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm I'm sweating. Thanks, Jim. You're bringing uh, the heat. Yeah. Once, twice, three times, Jim. Wow. Once, twice, three times is too many. I'm almost sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please. Once, uh, give me a sandwich and let me lay down for an hour. Oh, man. Well, you you, you sport that kind of sexy chest hair. Yes. You're going to want it four and five times, my friend. Oh, yes. My laws. <laughs> we are going to the audience now. The audience, what is the best one from the audience? Josh. It's going to be <laughs> Eileen Burke Woodward. I farted once, twice. Three times I farted. You know, a fart joke is always a good joke and always appreciated on this show because that is the level that we are here. Yeah. A classic. Eileen, through the goalposts. Perfect. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's great. I, you know, I'm going to have to give that one to Jim again. Jim. Whoa! It was, it was only because of the chest hair at the beginning. I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I agree with that. Our, uh, uh, Yesenda Rosiendo wants some tequila. Um, what else? My, my wife, Leah, is watching. She said the heat has been turned up because of your chest hair. <laughs> Jim, Hello, so. beautiful Leah. Ooh la la. All right. It's time for this. Leah, do you like... Oh, no Inspirational poster. Oh, Inspirational poster. I'm going to show you a poster. There is nothing written on it. What inspirational phrase do you think should accompany this? And here is the picture. Okay. Uh, All right. Hmm. You see that being inspirational. He's, he's got dreams. He's got hopes. He just wants to cross certain things in his life. And I hope that you guys can be inspiring, as I know you will be, without being sarcastic hmm. or, or terrible, because that's not who you are. <laughs> yeah. uh, type in your answer now. What is this inspirational poster? We're going to start with you, Jim. What? Is wow. this, uh, this might be a famous saying. I, I don't even know. My guess is that it is. But uh, the only thing between you and success is a whole lot of stupid. Ah. Ooh. He ain't going to make it. A lot of stupid. It's he deep. ain't going to make it. It's deep. It's in many layers. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Chris. Uh, I saw this and, of course, was reminded by the classic, like, the kitten hanging on and it says, hang in there, baby. So I was yep. kind of trying to go, like, in a similar spirit. Yep. So in my mind, this lizard saying, gravity ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> I like that. Those are both good. Yeah, that's um, good. Chris go wins. I like Chris's. <laughs> well, yeah. well, they're all good. If we go to the audience here, because sometimes the audience wins. Let's see. Let's see. October Maxwell, take a leap of faith. There's only a 50% chance you make it. All right. So it's not quite a leap of faith. It's just kind of a leap then with, with a associated math of value. Uh, those were all good, guys. But I think I'm going to give that to Chris. Tom. Oh, that's great. Tom wins that Thank round. you. Thank you. He even added a little, oh, like it was performance. It was funny. Like it. It was really, it Thank was you. there. And yeah. I feel like on the poster, you would have that many E's sort of coming all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. And actually, just for the record, I copyright that. I got it. Oh, oh it's, your, it's yours. Yeah, oh, you say it on the internet. Oh. It means it's true. You, so that's right. You get it. Um, we're going to do a little thing now that we call Last Show's Best. Last Show's Best. This is really fun. Um, what we do is we take – not everyone can watch this live. Though Actually, most people watch this after the fact. But they still want to put their jokes in. So we look at all of the jokes that have been submitted on YouTube and Facebook. Our producer, Josh, and our producers look through to find the best joke. And that person who had the best joke from last week gets to come on now to compete in the final round with you guys. So let's, oh, wow. let's introduce our winner um, from last week. 
Paul Luisi. Yay! Hello. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Jerry Kennedy. He had a good one too, but Paul had a great one. Paul, let me show you the, the one you picked. See if you remember uh, what you said for this. This was your this was your prompt. Um, um, what is she thinking? And do you remember what your answer was, Paul? Uh, yeah, don't they don't know exactly how I'm warming these meatballs or something like that. They don't know how I keep the meatballs warm. <laughs> yeah, I was actually eating meatballs. We now do know. <laughs> so. Uh, congrats, man! Congrats, Paul. And I hear you're you are in uh, you're in New York. Is that right? Yeah, Auburn, New York. Auburn, New York, man. And and you they, they tell me you in a you're in a band. Yeah, uh, Nightlight Mary. Very cool. Very cool. Have you tried playing any gigs uh, like over the net now with the Zoom and stuff? No. Yeah. No. Well, no. You should try. Uh, it. Fun. Yeah. I like yeah. I got you. I wonder how the latency works, but. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, no one plays at the same time, but uh, <laughs> at least they see you moving your arms. I got I got to jump in here. Uh, this is really uncomfortable. Um, oh. oh, after Chris and I broke up, Paul and I had a little something. Oh, you know, I did. What not are know the that. What are the odds? I'm dealing with two exes on the same show. Uh, the odds are fifty percent because he took a leap of faith. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, so Paul, you're 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 a secret. secret. Paul, you'll be joining us for this round. So uh, good luck to you. Uh, we are going to show you uh, the next game. The final game on tonight's program is what's his secret? What's his secret? I will show you a picture of someone and you tell me what you think his secret is. And here we go. <laughs> there it is. That is whatever the secret is. It's horrible. <laughs> it's just going to be horrible. Uh, go ahead and type in your answer now uh, into the Facebook chat or the YouTube. And if you want to play, uh, if you want to play with us and get to be on here like Paul, um, type in an answer because you actually have a chance of coming back next week to play. All right. We're going to start off with Paul. Paul, you're up first, buddy. What is his secret? Well, kind of looks like. Bozo the Wolf fleeing the scene of the crime. Bozo so the Wolf fleeing the scene of the crime. So I'm going to guess his secret. Not only is he guilty of negligent pie in the face, but he's also guilty of two other things. For stealing a detective's top hat. Yeah. And for crop dusting everyone in that tent. <laughs> <laughs> but he's actually feeling bad about it. I like it. A three-part joke. Good job, man. Awesome, buddy. Uh, Jim O'Hare, what is his secret? Yeah, Paul put a lot more thought into this than I did. Uh, he's got a secret that he shares with all men. Okay? And the secret is, as you can tell from those guys looking at him, men will forgive an ugly face for a great ass. <laughs> Men will forgive an ugly face for a great ass. That also would have worked on the inspirational poster, I think. Yes, you're, you're right. Yeah. Uh, good job, man. Chris, how about you, sir? What is this man's secret? Well, obviously, this guy's secret is that he is Scotland Yard's most uh, greatest detective, Inspector Clown Bear. <clears throat> Inspector Clown Bear. That's a good one. That's a good one. I mean, you it makes what? sense. I, it makes sense. I like them all. I think the final round is going to go... To Jim O'Hare, Jim O'Hare. Whoa! How, how, are the, how are the prizes being doled out? Is it Ooh. big money? Is it cars? When did uh, I get? receive a debit card from the Bank of Sweden, and there will be 13 small deposits. What you want to do is go to the website and punch in all those deposits and to confirm them to receive your four-day supply of deposits. Very complicated. That's what we do. That's I got paid on parks and recreation. I know how we do it. <laughs> uh, everyone, uh, say thanks to Chris Tallman, Jim O'Hare, our winner from last week, Paul Luisi. So great. Thank you for joining us on the show. Um, well, I like that, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured it out. I don't know how to do it. You know. Uh, Please uh, follow, like, and share this if you can. If you're not watching it live or you're watching it on Instagram or YouTube later, come back to this Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Mangum or the YouTube page, You Jokes, this Friday, April 24th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard for our next episode of You Jokes. That was really fun. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thanks Jonathan. Kimberly. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Melissa Garland. Thanks, Susan. Congrats, Paul. Good job, Paul. All right.